Hello, everybody, and welcome to my decorating tips. Today, I'm going to be talking about windows. So you can do a lot more with them than you may think, and they can really make a huge difference to the look of your build. In today's video, I'll be doing a speed walkthrough of the build behind me. I'll also point out a few key tips on how to customize things to make it your own. Be sure to watch to the end to see some other examples I've done to hopefully inspire you. So the way I look at it, decorating windows can be split up into two parts. The first is how you build the whole window, using different materials and layers to create a unique look. And the second is using decorative items such as mirrors, pillars, torches, and the like to dress up even the simplest of windows. So to start, we put down foundations and the ever so important wooden fence foundations. Builders know we need these, we use them an awful lot, they're very, very important. So I'll be building a window with at least three layers. So to get the extra snap points, I'm gonna be placing two more foundations in the front of where I wanna put the windows so I can get those extra fence foundations in. Now for this build, we'll be using just one dyno gate. However, if you wanted to elaborate, you can use two that are slightly overlapping. Again, you're gonna be clicking them to those fence foundations inside your foundations. Now this design, especially using a wooden dyno frame, can even allow you to incorporate a door in the middle bottom section, which is kind of fun. Now, another tip if you're using dyno gates, you should place them down before placing any other walls. Otherwise, the dyno gates won't place on the foundations themselves and they'll do some crazy thing and jump further up, up on the wall. So I'll just place the adobe dyno gate and the outer walls. Now for this build, I want the layer of windows to be in the middle, so I'll put them in the middle green snap point. Next, I'll be using door frames on the outside layer. Now, if your door frame sticks through your dyno gate, you can just add another to the snap point that's created by those outside fence foundations. This will allow you to color your dyno gate differently from your inside gate if you desire. In an example later on in the video, you'll see one of my favorite patterns to do with windows, which is window wall, door, door, and then another window wall. It has that great effect for larger builds or towers. But for this design, I'll be topping the doors off with another greenhouse wall. This creates a cool looking space or gap. It's important to finish the layer up through the gate, however, so that I can place those triangles on top. I've used glass for this top layer, but you could use other material or just leave it as a blank adobe wall. Now once you've placed your layers, you can go back and remove those foundations and the wooden fence foundations. Now lastly, I'll just add a pillar up the middle. You can also decorate the inside of your window wall using the same pattern of door frames or you could change it up with something else, like putting some as walls and or windows and then door frames. Or you could use different materials, such as stone. It's really up to you. It's, it's kind of fun about building windows and layers. Mm -hmm. 
Whichever you do, you'll need to make sure that you bring the layer all the way up through the gate. That is if you want to put more items on top. And in this example, I'm going to be using those triangles again. I believe that's it for the building layers. Next, I'll be throwing on some decorative items to dress it up further. I have a few items that I use often. Mirrors, wall mount trophies, and torches are my go-to elements. But in this build, I'm also going to incorporate the wooden elevator tracks from Aberration. Now, in order to place them where I want them, I'm going to create an extra snap point by placing a temporary ceiling on that level of the wall. Now, I use this trick a lot when it comes to placing decorative items, such as railings and triangle walls. Now, by placing that extra ceiling, I can snap the elevator track right where I want it. You can also use this trick to flip around walls so you can mix up your building mediums. For example, you could have a stone layer at the base, then a reversed wooden wall above that. In the case of the adobe railings, the snap point was still too far into the wall and some of that railing was getting lost. So in this case, you can use the ceiling to place another wooden fence foundation out further and you bring out that snap point. Now when you're done, you just remove the ceiling and the wooden fence foundation. And that's it for the building. Now all you need to do is slap on some color. I've done a basic color pattern, but don't be afraid to give it a try. Color can make a huge difference. Now, take a look at some of the other designs I've put together to hopefully inspire you. And remember, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.